Ready? Hey guys, Eric here from the Barbecue HQ, and today I'm going to go over our three best-selling offset pits. So we've got new to the game, uh, the workhorse pit, the 1969 to be exact. We have the Franklin uh, barbecue pit right behind us, and then we've got the Old Country Brazos. So again, these are our best sellers. I'm going to go over why you why want one or the other, their costs, the features, and uh, hopefully you gain something from this video. Okay, so first off here, we have the Brazos, the Old Country Brazos. This grill is, uh, the smoker is $1,599 in our store. Um, these are made in Mexico. They're made with quarter inch. They're very well built, honestly. Some of the welds, you know, might be, uh, I'm gonna say questionable, but they don't definitely look as pretty as what you get on the workhorse or the Franklin. Um, but the design of it is really, really good. So they have a cowboy firebox here like you would get on the, um, on the workhorse, so you can grill in here. Um, it also makes it easier starting your fires. You get a fold up front shelf. This is a, the, again, the new design. Um, you get steerable front casters on it. So they've made some good changes at the Brazos and for six, $16.99, this thing is a great, sorry, $15.99. I will get it right one of these days. Uh, for $15.99, this thing is an incredible value. Uh, it's extremely durable. It will last you a lifetime and it matches, you know, a lot of these other pits that are made of a uh, quarter inch. So they've added, um, in, this is just brand new, we've had these like two weeks, is the baffle is removable. So standard, it used to just send that heat down below and move the heat to the stack, cook from bottom up. My preference for briskets is I wanna cook top down. I like to cook most of my meats top cool. down. Um, so it's great that they made that baffle removable because again, we wanna send that heat up. Now it does put a lot more heat on this upper shelf, but again, as long as you're aware of that, that's what's going on. Um, so what you don't get with the Brazos, <coughs> As you can see, there's no temperature gauge. Uh, we will have temperature gauges for them shortly. Um, and again, this is the DLX model. So you're getting the counterweight, uh, you're getting that second shelf, and again, great value at $15.99. Um, so where this kind of falls short a little bit, for me, it needs a little bit of a longer stack. So we're actually making a stack extension that will get this to draw better, harder, stronger. Um, we're gonna make a kit that will deflect that heat up faster for you. And we're also gonna have a thermometer kit that will let you help relocate the thermometer here, as well as add a pro port on that side. So this is stuff all in the works from us here at the Barbecue HQ. But again, I've turned out some great food on the Brazos. They cook great, you know, once, once you learn them, uh, you know, again, a few nuances to it, but by them removing that baffle and doing a stack extension, again, we're gonna start selling those stack extensions you got yourself a great pit for the money. So if you look at all the uh, upgrades that you know we're gonna be offering for under two grand, you're gonna have a pit that's just absolutely dialed and crank out some awesome, awesome food. Uh, size of this, so this is about 19 by 40 inches. So a little bit smaller than these guys over here. Um, but again, at the, the value, really, really hard to beat and this thing will last you a lifetime. All right, so next up, we got the Workhorse 1969. Now there is the 1957, which we have in stock, and there's the 1975, which is just gigundous, but we're talking about all the grills of, or smokers of about this same size. So you have a, a 20 inch chamber, um, 20 inch diameter chamber, and it's 42 inches long. So again, this is the same size as the Franklin over here. Um, this is probably our most common size. Now we've sold a lot of the 1975s, but just in our past of between the Brazos and Yoder to the different brands of offsets that we've sold, this tends to be the most common size. So workhorse, these are made in Georgia. Um, they have just gone to the dealer model. We were one of their first dealers. And you can see there are some upgrades on this. So what you get for this, this is about $3,800 plus tax. Um, it's, yes, it's quite a bit more than the uh, old country over there, but this is 3 8 metal all the way around. This thing is a beast. This lid is insane. Ugh, geez. So the upgrades on this are the second shelf. And with that second shelf, you actually get more thermometers. Um, this has the cowboy grill option. And um, so this gives you the ability to use the firebox for grilling. 
Um, again, workhorse, these things cook great. Um, if I'm gonna compare it to the Franklin, I think the Franklin cooks just a tad bit better, and that's because it has an insulated firebox. But the Franklin, you don't get as much room. Um, so these do cook top down. So keep in mind, this top shelf is gonna be really, really, really hot. So your briskets and all that you want on the bottom, you know, and then understand this top shelf is gonna be ripping. You might be 225 down here, and it might be 300 plus up top because of the way that the heat's gonna go up, travel down, across, and travel down, and then out the stack. So uh, much like the Brazos, and unlike the Franklin, there is a chimney damper on here. So you can use the balance of the damper on the door, the amount of wood, your coal bed, and the damper on the exhaust to control how aggressive you want this thing to draft. So a lot of versatility out of this pit. I mean, bang for the buck, this is to me the best American made pit you're gonna get for the money. And right at about $3,800 with this fully optioned out right now, that's a pretty good deal, pretty hard to beat. So, um, you know, folding stack is another great option, uh, especially if you move to their trailers. Um, again, they're doing a lot of really, really good things. We're very happy to work with Workhorse and can't make a bad decision here at all either. All right, now let's move over to the Franklin and talk about the Franklin. Okay, and last but not least, um, I will say this is my personal favorite and that's not a knock to these other cookers at all because the Workhorse and the Franklin cook so close, um, it's, it's quite awesome, both of them. Um, but like I said, there's a few little details on this that gives it a slight edge in my opinion. Um, and that first part is the insulated firebox. So the cook chamber on the Franklin is quarter inch. Um, the firebox is three eighths and it's a insulated, not a, um, I wanna say like a fabric or uh, that type, it's just an air gap insulation on it. But to me, it makes a difference on how the pit flows, how it maintains a coal bed and just that little bit of insulation just, you're adding wood just a little bit less, but you can also load the 1969 up with quite a bit more with that top shelf, right? So there's gonna be a little bit of a trade-off there. Um, the craftsmanship on the workhorse and the Franklin are second to none. I mean, the welds are just absolutely gorgeous. Nothing's out of alignment. Both of them are extremely meticulous in all the little details of the pit, but the Franklin has just a few things on it that kind of gives it that edge. And you go, well, it's $5,200. It's you know another $1,500 more than the workhorse. Well, what do you get with that? Well, you can see some of these little details that Aaron has added to this, like their casters, these metal casters aren't going anywhere. You have rubber on the workhorse, which makes it real nice, um, but these are just a little bit more detail in these. Uh, the door, the way this door opens, I love it. It's, you know, <laughs> the workhorse is awesome. It's super heavy, but this door is so well balanced and, um, it has the nice lid stops or hinge stops on it uh, to keep it all, uh, keep it open. Now you don't get as much cook area. There's no top shelf in this. That is the downside. Um, and if you learn the way that Franklin likes to cook briskets, you will understand of like, we don't need that top shelf. Doesn't really serve a purpose in his methodologies. And again, that's fine. All personal preference. Um, so, you can see here, he's got a different baffle system. And if you look at our demo pit that we have, it's pretty clear how the heat travels. So there's a line that comes here. As soon as it exits that baffle, it moves to the top and then works its way down to the bottom. Um, there's only one thermometer on here because all we care about or all Franklin cares about is how that comes over at the, how the heat comes over at the end of the meet. So you see, um, and this one isn't pre-seasoned. So this one you take it home, coat it with a whole bunch of oil, get some heat going in it, and it's gonna start to patina out like this guy over here. Um, Franklin does a little notch in the door right here for your digital probes. Uh, Workhorse, on the other hand, has an actual pass-through port uh, on the other side there. Um, so again, just different ways of going about it. Both of these are just absolutely incredible between the Workhorse and the Franklin and their craftsmanship, the build quality. Um, it's just a matter of what's going to work for you. Um, like I said, I give this one a little bit of an edge, but I mean, we're talking, I mean, it's, it's a total split here. It's like Lamborghini and Ferrari. You're going to have fun driving both of them. Both going to cook great, be proud to own both of them. Um, you know, it's just some people have a preference. I fit in Ferraris better than I do Lamborghinis. So it is, it is what it is. So, um, anyways, so all three of these cookers, you got great choices and uh, great options. It depends on what you're looking for, how much you want to spend. Uh, we have all these options here at the Barbecue HQ. So if you're interested in any of these units, reach out to us, uh, ask questions below. 
uh, the Brazos and the uh, Workhorse, we can ship to certain areas. Uh, same thing with the Franklin, but um, you know, reach out to us and we will take care of you. So make sure you give us a follow. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and we will see you on the next one.